Hello all future network associates. This is Whale Hater doing Packet Tracer 322, 3322. This is Rapid PDST. And let's get going. So first of all, we're going to do a little bit different commands than what they're telling us to do. We're going to do those same commands from chapter 2. And we're going to start with the VTP. We want to turn this switch, number 2, into the server. Well, we could just pick any one of these switches, really. But we'll use switch 2 as the VTP server. And the domain is going to be CCNA. Now we'll create the VLANs that we need to. And this is the only switch we'll have to do this on, because the rest will just turn into the clients. And they'll just pull this information from here over to them. Uh, we, we could just go through and make each one of these VLANs on each one of the switches, but that's boring and not as sexy. So we're just going to do it in this way. All right, next let's assign um, assign the VLANs to the switch ports, the appropriate VLANs to the switch ports. So F06 is going to be access mode. And then we're going to assign it to VLAN 30. So F011, and VLAN 10, make sure it's an axis. Oh man, I'm really screwing this up. <laughs> Switch port mode axis. All right. Last but not least, there we go. All right, what's next here? Let's do the interfaces for the trunks. So we'll just do all four ports at once, one through four. Turn them into trunks and then assign them to VLAN 99. Now we're going to get some error messages on the other switches, but don't worry about those. They'll go away everything will be just fine as you can see there it's at that inconsistent local VLAN that's because we assigned them to VLAN 99 when they were probably on VLAN 1 before so let's do a VTP clients give it the CCNA domain we don't have to give it a password it's not required so let's just go right over to those trunk lines make them make them trunks And then assign them to VLAN 99. Awesome. Next. S3. Here we go. Come on, fingers. Do your thing. VTP mode clients. Then we're going to do the domain, CCNA. All right, it's going to pull that information in from the server as soon as we configure the trunks. So F01 through 4. Again, 90 and no, 9. Okay, there we go. Now, looks like we need to configure rapid spanning tree PVST plus for load balancing here we go yeah so we'll give our spanning tree mode rapid pvst we don't need to add that plus in there just the rapid pvst let's copy paste this into the rest of the switches just for ease of in of configuration all right that's done what's next 
Now we need to configure rapid spanning tree PDST load balancing. So our S1 needs to have VLANs 1, 10, 30, 50, and 70 as the root primary. So spanning tree, VLAN, then just give our range of VLANs that we're going to be doing. And then give it the root primary. Okay, next we're going to go to S3, and the root primary for them is 20, 40, 60, 80, and 99. So we'll go spanning tree, VLAN, and then give our ranges. And then root primary. All right, lastly, S2, spanning tree, VLAN. Now we give all the VLANs on here, so 1, 10, 20, and so on until 99. Oh. All right, there we go. And that's going to be the root secondary, so if any of those other ones go down, this one's going to be the, the backup. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to configure port fast and BPDU guard. Like in my last video, I explained that port fast is just so that when the switch turns on, it looks for anything with port fast and it immediately turns it into the forwarding state so it can start forwarding packets instead of waiting for the VTP domain or, um, election process to happen. So the BPDU guard is for if there ever gets any BPDU packets or, or uh, anything like that in on that port, it shuts that port down because BTDUs come from switches and those shouldn't be on port fast ports. All right, do a copy run start and now we have to assign the IP address to the interface VLAN 99 on each one of these switches. Kind of forgot to do that earlier. Okay, so it is going to be, this is a switch two, so 172.17.90.99 and 12 because it's switch 2 and then slash 24 subnet mask and let's just do a copy paste into the rest of the switches and we'll just have to do that. Alright copy run start. Make sure you give that do command if you're in the configuration menu or mode. Okay S1 Change that 12 to an 11, and we're good to go. Do copy run start, and we save the configuration. Lastly, Awesome sauce. Okay, we got it. All right, I did forget one other thing that we need to do, and that is turn the port 6, 11, and 18, turn them on. All right, now we got it. Well, guys, I would love to thank you very much for watching. I uh, Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm always here for you. Alright guys, peace.